Oh, hi. Cooper here. So anyways, I know it's been a while. Um, the first half of this video is going to be the card section, and then the other half will kind of be like an update of where I've been and why I haven't been making videos. So to get right into it, um, as the title says, I did pick up two packs. Uh, I picked up the Charizard one for Generations, and this is the figure for that. It's actually a pretty cool figure. Um, I love the uh, dark wing here, like the burnt wing that looks like it's been singed. Um, I think that looks freaking awesome. Definitely um, the main reason why I got the set. It was like $20 at Walmart, at my Walmart. Um, prices may vary depending on where you live. Um, here in Oregon, we don't have sales tax, so that's freaking awesome. Don't have to pay any extra. And then I also got the uh, Mewtwo one, which I think is a little bit older. It's an older set, but the figure, again, looked pretty sick. Um, sorry that it's not focused. I'm using my webcam right now. Um, when I do unpackings, because I'm going to start doing un card unpackings, I'm going to be using my real camera. That way, you know, I can focus it and it stays focused and everything looks beautiful. Um, but for this video, I'm just kind of going to do um, the rare cards and the, like, hollows and stuff that I pulled. Because um, I couldn't wait. I just kind of got home and opened both packs. Um, but I did pull some pretty crazy cards. I'm going to save those ones for last. And uh, so I think to start off, I'll just show you, like, the Charizard card and the Mewtwo one that I got from the two packs. Um, this is the Mewtwo one, which is pretty good. Um, it looks pretty cool. I like the art for it. And it does... Uh, man, I already have them put in the sleeves. Um, but does this Zen Blade, which does 100 damage, this Pokemon can't use it during the next turn. Um, and then also Cybolt, which, you know, if you flip heads, your opponent is now paralyzed. Um, so it's not too bad. The next one was uh, the Charizard EX, which has Wing Attack, which does 60 for 3. And then Combustion Blast, which does 150, and then can't use it next turn for 4. Um, and this art is just freaking beautiful. Again, um... In my next videos with dealing with cards, it will be a way better focus. So I do apologize for that. I do know that's kind of annoying. <laughs> um, and then the first one is, uh, it looks like a full foil uh, Dracini or Dancy, however you pronounce it. Um, but I like the art. The art is very beautiful. I think the reason why I got back into Pokemon because um, these are the first two sets I've bought since, like, oh, God, since I was, like, a kid, basically. And I think it's because Pokemon art looks the best, in my opinion. But the next one I got was um, Articuno. Um, the the art team in Pokemon really, you know, steps their game up. And this has Tri-Edge, which is um, flip three coins. This attack does 40 more damage for each head. Um, so it's 20 plus 40, depending on how many heads you get. Then also got a Starmie. Which isn't too bad. Looks pretty cool. Um, this one, nah, this one's not that like interesting. And then I got the dragon, the double dragon energy, um, pretty standard. Um, and then I got two floets, both the same. So that's pretty cool. So if I ever needed to use them in a deck, I could, because um, I'm gonna start playing. I think a little bit too. Also got Raichu. Um, I like this card. This card looks really cool. It's a reverse hollow. Um, it's also a rare, but um, Thunderbolt, um, which Thunderbolt is weird because you have to detach all the energy. So this will be for like a really energy heavy deck, uh, unless Circle Circuit does really well for you. Um, this card is pretty cool. Um, I think this card was just thrown in there just for the lulls. Um, basically, this makes your own Pokemon confused. It's very funny looking. Um, again, I apologize for the blur. When I do my unpackings, it will be with a high-quality camera. Um, then Team Flare Grunt, um, where you can discard an energy from your opponent. Um, Glam Meow. Uh, Metang. Just gonna try and get through this, because I'm already four minutes in, and I don't want to make this too long for you guys. Also gotta be out. Rhyhorn. And now we'll get to the EXs. Um, the first one that I pulled was a uh, uh, Sylveon or whatever. Um, very cool card. Uh, definitely enjoy this. 
I might even try to find a way to play this, just because it's so freaking adorable. I really want the Flareon EX, um, the one where Flare Flareon looks really, really cute, because um, those of you that don't know, Flareon is my favorite Pokemon. Um, and then I also pulled a Blastoise EX, which was freaking awesome to top on top of that Charizard one that was the promo. So definitely a nice pull with the Blastoise one, which has Hydro Press, which does 100, and then does 20 damage to one of the bench Pokemon. Um, Hyper Whirlpool, um, if you flip heads, you can take off an energy from your opponent, which is pretty cool. Both of those are good. It's actually a pretty decent card. Um, and then I also got Mega Skeptile for the final card that I pulled that was freaking amazing. And this, I feel like it was really lucky. This was actually the first pack that I opened. I pulled this. Um, and I was just, that's why I kind of wish that I um, would have filmed it because it was freaking awesome. Uh, but definitely, definitely going to start um, filming me opening packs. Um, I'm going to try to do it either every week or every two weeks. Um, not sure yet, but definitely going to start doing card opening packs. But this has Jabber Saber, which um, you may attach to energy um, from your hand to your bench Pokemon any way you like. And then heal damage. Um, it does 100 and... I really want to get a normal Skeptile now just so I could try and play this because, you know, I have it, so might as well try to build around it. Um, I'm really hoping to get some more EXs and whatnot. But yeah, so that's that. This Pokemon, you know, cards and stuff kind of catch you up what I've been up to now. Um, it's been pretty nice out, so that's the biggest reason why I haven't made videos. Um, all my friends have been like, hey, let's do stuff. I'm like, yeah, sure, I'm going to try and, you know, not make you know video games or whatever a priority over my friends which is something that everyone should do um, if someone asks you to hang out you should probably go hang out with them um, also again the Pokemon trading card game I've been playing a lot of that um, online I've been playing the Pokemon online one which sucks because the last three days the um, digital pack thing has been down because they're doing maintenance on that but um, if you're new to Pokemon trading card game or if you haven't played yet um, the playing it online is definitely a good way to learn how to play it. Um, it's kind of like magic in a way, but um, still, like it's still unique. Um, it's it's different than any other you know trading card game, and it's actually really fun. I think it's definitely um, probably my favorite trading card game now, and then Magic's a close second behind it. Um, Pokemon, the only thing with Pokemon Trading Card Game is not a lot of people um, know how to play it or haven't, you know, played it. So it's kind of hard to find people to play with sometimes. So playing it online definitely makes it a lot easier. Plus, if you buy real packs, you get a digital code, so that makes it easy. Because then you have physical pack and a digital pack, which is fucking awesome. I wish Magic did that, and I wish Yu-Gi-Oh! did that as well. Um, actually, I don't know if Yu-Gi-Oh! does. I haven't bought Yu-Gi-Oh! cards since I was probably, like, 12. <laughs> but, um... So I think Magic should probably do that too. I believe they're both from Wizards of the Coast as well, so I don't understand why Magic doesn't do the digital code thing for their online game as well, like Pokemon does. But anywho, I'm not their, you know, guy. I've also been playing the RuneScape card game. I don't know if any of you guys have, you know, heard of that or whatever. But that is really cool. Um, that game um, is really fun. And basically, not only do you play your opponent, but you also play against your own deck. Um... Basically, you play cards in a strategic way to where it gives you more um, coins. I may do a review on it uh, in a further video, like a further review, and kind of like un like do some gameplay and stuff and show you guys like um, basically the gist of the game. Uh, I feel like that would be really fun to do. And I've also been doing a lot of saving up for, so I haven't, you know, that's going to be an issue too. I've been working a lot, been trying to work as much as possible. So... I'm going to try and give you videos, you know, at least one or two a week. Um, and I'm going to talk about new stuff. I'm going to try and make videos that are not too time-consuming to make for now um, until, you know, I do find time and work on something here and there. But definitely I think the card, you know, stuff will make it a little bit easier for content because, you know, everyone loves watching people open cards and it's really fun to, you know, pull something cool on camera. So... Anywho, um, this video is like 9 minutes, 30 seconds long, so I don't want to make it any longer for you guys. I love you guys. I'll see you next time. Leave your comments below if you want to, you know, watch me pull cards or whatever. Um, but yeah, love you guys. See you next time. Bye!